of that. Nothing to do with Watergate, unless somebody draws an inference of connection. What it is basically, to, Mr. President, is your interagency intelligence group plan right. for supplementing domestic intelligence. Right. Plus eight documents about the, which include a summary, a memorandum on the recommendation, the memorandum back from Bob stating the method of approval and implementation. Uh, one memorandum analyzing Mr. Hoover's objection, methods of approval. Uh, it, some of the language is uh, quite inflammatory, particularly one of Houston's memorandums. Well, oh, the So, very unfortunate. I think it presents a serious problem. Yeah. Uh, as you know, I guess what by far the most serious thing is the approval of the surreptitious anchor, which is described in Houston's words as nothing short of burglary and illegal business documents. And Hoover objects on that ground. But then clearly the advantages outweigh the risk Hoover should be overruled. It's in language that will be quite inflammatory. Of course, this has been delivered. This is Houston's language, not mine. This is Houston's language. But Haldeman going back and saying your recommendations are approved by the president on all counts. There was only one recommendation that was disapproved, and that was the use of military undercover agents. That one turned down. Now, I think. <coughs> Frankly, that this will be used by the committee, for sure, really to supersede the whole water case. Yeah. Uh, it puts a new light, I think, on the problem. Yeah. I would suggest it be handled in a much different fashion. I think you, you, you can't let this dribble out. No. It's my own belief that you have to make your case for doing it to the environment that it was done in. You have to lay it on the record, and there are a number of ways you could do it with something approaching the state paper, perhaps by with a summary by you, either with the leadership or otherwise. <laughs> I think it should be accompanied at this point by relaxation to the maximum extent of executive privilege, because you can't have the plan and then have anything that appears to cover up. We should work up into the maximum extent possible. But that's not right. Right. On this or there. On across the board. Or in some way we define it's related to this or the Watergate affair. Yeah. Um, Except I, we can't relate, for example, we can't relax with regard to Walter's memorandum. We're going to have to, Mr. President. The right. court's going to overrule that. I went down to Justice to talk to him this morning. The court is not going to permit it. The only way you hold it is by having it in your possession. And to defy a court order at this point okay. would be well, so problem, problem, problem. I really think that the only choice is to really go out and get this thing hit on. It may precipitate action by the House. If so, you should make your case in the strongest possible terms. Give everybody all the ammunition you can to help you. And then let's go play. Just take a moment and fight this thing head on. Actually, it gives us a better case because the issue can now turn on the threat to national security. During this period, the document is a good one. It lays out the threat very well. Well, the point is, I think, we should, I think we should get on it just as fast as we can. We should use, we should get these people in here to help put it together. We should get Pat to whoever's going to write it and start really pulling this thing together. We should get the Bill Ruckles house in here and see if he can tell us how much activity took place under this. So we'll have a scope. 
Hoover was in charge generally. But I must the South is going to have to look at the records and see. I doubt he very much was done. No, I know Hoover was very, he was reluctant to do something. That was the right. problem here. Yeah. I had one meeting in the office where I just had it, and I never heard about it again. But as you know, we can follow up. That's true. And I think we won't. It's probably very limited. You know, I know now that I was seeing intelligence report gathered from this operation. They couldn't have done much because there wasn't. What was the intelligence report for? Uh, they used them in connection with particular demonstrations. We got so any time we considered using troops. They actually were delivered to me. We had this big thing with the urban What was this? What was the purpose of this concentration? The purpose of this document was to give you a study showing you what the threat was, what the present capabilities of intelligence were, what the shortfalls were, to review all limitations existing then on the intelligence community, and to give you the pros and cons of changing those limitations, all right. of what that's, needed to be effective. That's the paper, then. Then the implementation went forward with all the recommendations on ex expanded electronic surveillance, Urban Steel, Secretary, I mean, Mr. President. Yeah. He's, 
the civil liberties man. Yeah. We'll hear police, state, Nazism, everything come out of this fellow. So we... we so he was in the Yes, yes. So they he told him that the whole operation... Well, right. I'll be so sorry about it. Now, the issue here is that there are two things that have to be ironed out. One is that, uh, God damn it, uh, make a pretty good case that we had flabby, ineffective internal security at a time when there was riots in the streets. It was just, right. just, right. just, right. just after Cambodia, right. just after Kent State. Right. And second, you know, we've got to tie in the thread here. Can't go with this until you can get the lines carefully traced the best we can on the Watergate situation. From certainly we can see the break in that the psychiatrist found after this. Yeah, the lines are there. Now, you can't just fire that. You have the other. Yeah, you've got to do something. You've got to tie it all. I don't think we can. I don't. Well, I don't know whether we can avoid it. I don't see. I believe some of them have got to avoid it. The president approved the break in the psychiatrist's office. I well, you didn't approve. You didn't approve that specific one. Yeah, but I approved it. But you know the policy is here. There may have been others. We need to check. Rapidly and sleep. We need really need a thorough search because well, this time when you say, you know, if you want to go so far as to say, I investigated and found out that there were three. When did one, this, how long did this go on? Mr. President, the unit, at least the intelligence unit that still exists, still exists. Henry Peterson mentioned it to me this morning. If you didn't get into specific detail, that damned operation they had over in internal security is still there, and I don't think it's any damn business of ours. I don't know what to do with it. Just confiding in me. At that time, I hadn't read the document, so I didn't really know what he's talking about. Marty can tell us the most about it, I suspect. All right. Because he had the storage box for the scud to sew all this stuff. He was the chairman of the He was the chairman of the Let me say this. Uh, let me say this. Uh, I wonder, though, if we have to go so far as to, for the moment, on the relaxation of executive privilege. Why not? I just think we ought to do it on a case by case basis. Let me say this. On take take life of right. Uh, you, you don't think you can, you can hold Walters? I do not think we can have longer. Yes, they're demanding it. And our problem is, well, in the first place, it's not presidential papers, it's CIA papers. All right. The next paper, we're going to have problems, and I've gone thoroughly into this business of we don't have cases on executive privilege. We've looked hard at the attorney client privilege and see where the court will allow them and where they will not. Now, I talked to Chuck this morning. You should know this. What you call it? Yeah. Chuck would not like to be bound by executive privilege. He thinks he can do a tremendous amount to help him. All right. He thinks he can help more there by not being bound. I suspect, quite frankly, from talking to his counsel, that he would seriously consider not about his money, even if he didn't give him away because Chuck is convinced that he can help you. He had a rumor that John Mitchell was going to say, and this, this, as I told him, Chuck, I don't have any confidence in it unless you give me a solid soul. He said John Mitchell was going to uh, spill the beans and say that he told you about the, that the Democratic headquarters was going to be bugged before it was bugged. Oh, uh, and he said that he could he could refute that. My conversation, conversations he had with you subsequently, which just clearly indicated you did not know. No, I, I, I don't believe that John Mitchell ever going to say about anything like that. I, I, I don't believe. I don't believe. And we discounted it. But Chuck, some of the conversations he had with you, which he thought, 
and some of the events that transpired that he thought would be most helpful. They do not, they will not hurt anybody except them. There is some of them that will, with respect to the Watergate affair, I'm speaking strictly, confined now. He yeah. says, will hurt Dean, they will hurt no one else. And we went through with these enough, and as I told Al, I may be crazy, but I believe it. Well, I, uh, I think we're going to have the case with this put together. That you've got to go forward with a revelation of this as much as possible in it. That is going to create uh, a storm, particularly among the liberal element. And I think to survive that storm, to really combat it, we cannot afford to appear to be in the position of withholding anything relevant. Nothing to this, but however, nothing, nothing in this, let me say it, uh, re relates though to it does, where, it where does nothing in this relates to approving the Watergate thing. That's true, Mr. President. At the, methods, methods, yes. at the same time, the methods are so, you know that, I believe that, and, uh, and, but the problem is we'll have one hell of a job because it's in the sure, sure. And I'm thinking of, uh, trying to think of our, our best case yeah. to put forward to make it stick. Yeah. Well. And I think this should be laid out yeah. as we go through. Well, basically, the whole purpose of this, and all the whole purpose of that meeting was it was all, uh, I mean, they all got together and they were all, of course, we're trying to coordinate the whole damn thing. Yeah. That was my recollection, and we put over in charge. No, I remember the issue quite well, but the kinds of things that were going on in those days, we couldn't, we couldn't even get the dope because of the restrictions that he applied on the FBI activity. And I think in this case, you're going to find very little was done. I think very little was done. See, that's what we got to get that's what yeah, Before done. you go, before you go, before you go, I'd be prepared, but I think you're going to find a cooler. Now, Houston didn't tell you, I think. Have you got to get Houston in? We haven't had Houston in yet. We'll have, we'll, to get huh? we'll have to get Houston in. We didn't get Houston. I think Houston. And just on the level that he was to what was done. My recollection was what damn little was done. All of the ideas would help write him on that. But the paper was damn Well, we never had any little problems around here, do we? No, sir. I'll be. Well, that's all right. I'd rather have this than have a part be part of what Yes, sir. Strangely enough, I don't know why, but I mean, well, Mr. President, this may all work for the better. Huh? Right. It may all work for the better. It may be soon the whole time. If we think it's an issue, there can stand some pretty goddamn healthy fighting. I do too. And I think I think this will override work. I think it will become the bigger issue. And I think we'll be able to fight on this ground. And relegate Watergate to the very insignificant bug in the fair box. Here, it's closed everything in the context of that meeting that uh, concerns that that activity was wrapped up in this. You mean the house? Sure. Sure. It explains, it explains the whole lot of things completely. That's what we want to you know, understand. This was what you were trying to protect. You see, this type of activity. So it gives us a rationale. Well, thinking of all this, I'm sure it's damaging, but God damn it's no more damaging than everything else we got coming around here. That's true. You know what I mean? It's uh, apparently a lot of the stuff in there is pretty good. Yep, yeah, but there's some good stuff in there. Uh, and in the light of this, the only bad guy is Dean. Yeah. 
in the light of this. They say that the president has gone too far. <coughs> Actually, there were four things that uh, I think covered in that meeting, and Waters unfortunately didn't recollect them. They didn't put them in. But one was, was there a tie-in with these Cubans to Bay of Pigs? Were we going to get to uncover that kind of a mess? Uh, B, were, were we getting into internal security actions by this, this group? Those two things, you see, that makes the reason for that meeting. Okay. It makes it absolutely clear. Hunt was a former. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm sure that's the reason we had the meeting, you know, because as I said, if we were going to send up something to fake the water gate, we wouldn't have had help from the goddamn meeting. You know, that's true. You know, you would not have help. And, and if, if you were having an aberration, Bob would have had one. Because he knew, you know. You're going to pick up a lot of support on this. They're going to have to rally to your support. This document has got Helm's signature on it, Cooper's signature on it, Gyler's signature on it, Bennett's signature on it. Every response, please. Yeah, they're not approving all this stuff. No, sir, but they recommended the rules. Including the breaking? Yes, sir. Everybody except Cooper, he demurred on that. But the rest of them were right there. NSA was urgent. And to save their own hides, their, the bureaucracies, and that part of it has got to support you. It was totally clean. So it'll get us the purple line. A lot of people that are hanging on back. That's our music. Very unfortunate. But we might as well take it because, you know, he expresses the case more candidly, properly than you can, or, or more graphically. What's he talking about? In other words, he I talks know. about how damn bad the situation is. And he says, this is a hell of a time for Hoover to get squeamish. He said in his younger days, he burglarized everything around and had no compunction. And the risk is so great now, somebody ought to was to kick his ass and kick him who's present. That sort of like written to him. Written to Harlem. Oh. Oh, I don't know. You know I got it? The memo say this package was apparently somehow got over into the Justice Department. I don't know how. Saul Lindenbaum, and, and it was being worked on the package. Saul Lindenbaum, who is in the legal counsel's office at Justice, there's a note in front of him. He sent this package to Dean. He said, I found this over here. It's excess to our needs. I said, you do what you want to with it. That's where it came when, when? when did he send it up here?
twisting the right wing dispersion. That's what he thinks. Right wing dispersion. Erase the right wing dispersion and destroy the person. Hmm. So it's a bit of a lot worse than you would have to see. That's true. Yeah. Try to blow it, they come. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, who's got them now? The judge? The judge has them. And Irvin? The district attorney has them. And Irvin has them. We'll never get them on the I already know I've got the call coming in. I have to talk, but I know Irvin's going to refuse to let them go. Excuse me? I know Irvin is going to refuse to let them go. Why have you asked them for here? I sent the NSA people up who are in charge of this type of classification to try to work out with him that he would give them to them for storage. This, 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 this basically, you see, is not an urban committee's problems. It's not, Mr. President. No, I'm not sure. Yes, sir. At the moment, it, it is, is not a campaign practice, but my, my point is that, uh, that uh, we have to be prepared. I'm not suggesting we're not going to be prepared, but I'm trying to see how we, uh, what should we do? Uh, it's not a good idea to talk to me. We've got a question. I would just sort of have two things here before we do anything. First, we've got to find out what activity has been done, what was actually done. Two, we have to sort out the linkage between this organization and the authority. <laughs> because I think we have what they've got. 
You see my point? I think the point is, though, yeah. that if you say there was nothing or there was this only, we've got to make darn sure. Oh, yes, yeah, all. I understand. We've got to be actually right. My point is, let us not assume that because there was a big plan of this sort in the government, that, 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 the, that the opposition now has a great number of cases like the Pythagoras bug is. I they had a big, would have the goddamn things out. Now that's my point. I think it's, uh, that's the... I don't think they know. Yeah. I really don't think they know of any specific instance, and frankly, I'm not sure there was even one. My feeling is that this is one time an old man who were in his village. Probably did us a favor. He probably wasn't allowed. I don't know why it was, but he never wanted to do it. Mm. I don't know why he was. Now, question of express, we don't know who approved it. I'm under the impression, and these papers don't reveal who had the approval authority. Huh. If it was Mitchell, Mitchell Wicker was out as Attorney General. Yeah, he was out as Attorney General. No. no Dick wouldn't have done. Huh? Dick wouldn't have approved. Never, never. Never, never, never. Never. Look, let me tell you, for Christ's sakes, I just didn't know anything about the Watergate. I didn't know anything about the Watergate. And afterwards, none of us were trying to cover the line of the fish. Huh? The point is, therefore, anything that happened then was right. not approved by findings. I can well, you. I was thinking in terms of the fact, even if they had presented it to him yeah. as a part of this plan, Perfectly legitimate. Somebody presented it. I doubt if Dick would approve it. Would Dick? Dick yes, would have was the Attorney General's approval required of any activity in this judgment? It doesn't say, Mr. President. I don't know what the procedures were because the document is that the, the approval authority is not in. Right, right. Okay. My point is first find out uh, who, who, who can you ask? Can ask Houston. I can ask Houston, Marion, and frankly, Bill Sullivan. Those are the right documents. All right. We found them out. Would you get on that right away? Yes. Uh, top priority. Okay. Second point. Uh, I would not make. I would not make the frontal assault on this. I have a feeling. I have a feeling of how to how to act. I would not make the that, that this is a uh, this is an inter. Governmental thing. Urban is got it. Now, mind you, you've got one or two ways to go. We can go out and say, look, we've got caught with our hands in the cookie jar, and here's what we have. Or he may have to make a move. Now, my point is, Urban, Urban does not have within his committee his authority. He can make the move outside. He may testify outside. What I'm getting at is this. Uh, you want to assess the time? I want to assess the time, but I also want to assess what was done. Because Urban, Urban coming up and saying, well, here's a great big goddamn plan, is one thing. Urban coming up and saying, here's a big plan where a lot of things is done, is something else. That's true. You see my point? <laughs> so therefore, let's see what first, let's see what the, what the damage is. Let's see what was done. I think the thing is a very unproductive thing. Also, I think that as Bob he may know whether anything was produced in the can they? Those are the only people I know you could trust, I can say. Those are the only ones I would by those, if you could put calls into those, I would appreciate it. I'll take those right away. Now, the other thing is that uh, I would think that in terms of, of handling it, the better thing to do here, rather than at this point, rather than at this point saying, well, the president ought to go on prime time national television and explain to the American people what the correct people are trying to do in this instance, you know, which, of course, raises an issue they never thought of at this point. The thing to do is to play this in terms of, you know, let it ride. Let's see what they do. Let them get out of the line. You know what I mean? Let him strike a blow on the damn thing. What I'm getting at is this. They will try, in my view, if, as they use it, perhaps will dribble. They'll try to dribble, you know what I mean? I don't think, I don't think, well, I, I, guess, I don't think they'll put these papers on just like that. 
because of the fact that they're classified papers, they've already leaked some of this. Because I have very evidence that I couldn't understand the tenses in the wiretaps of 1959. Now, this explains it. It also explains the call that Henry got from the New York Times. Yep. Which is some of the problem. Yeah, I know. Fine. All right. But my point is, so that is it. What I'm getting at is that we might feel that a better thing to do is to just to put out a, as it has, that you can prepare. He's probably the best one with your supervision, a white paper. That's what I suggested. A white paper. And then we just whack it right out. The moment that it comes out, say, now listen, let's knock this damn thing off. Now, what we need to do that now will depend upon the intensity of the debate. If, on the other hand, Irvin and all, do elevate to the, you see what I mean? Yes. Irvin and the press and the rest, leave the responsibility for leaving this stuff out be theirs. You don't want to give us anything. I don't mean, I don't think we should go out and anticipate and look and say, well, Dean had materials here and here is what was in it. God damn it, it is a confidential information. It is top secret information. And at that, then you can be in a position of attacking her and the committee, you know, for revealing. And what do you think now? I don't think that. Uh, I just you see, what, and maybe I didn't make myself clear. I, I only, co I contemplated that they would get information out before you went, Mr. President, not you to go first. Yeah. I, I would, that wouldn't make sense. All right. The way they will do it, you see, is to leak through the papers and so forth and so on, and then there will be a great interest in the press. And then, at an appropriate time, I may have to and will take it on frontally. You know what I mean? When the interest and I'll say, here's the situation, and here's what we're trying to do, and here's what was done, and it was all done under the law. I guess burglarizing wouldn't be under the law. No, 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 no. It would not be. Is that in the paper? Yes, sir. Very clear. It's laid out in there that it is illegal, you know, this sort of thing. So that's, that's the one we're going to have to get. Well, how do you handle that? Sir? How do you handle that it was that the very extraordinary circumstances, one step short of a total insurrection, justified the action that was taken. Right. Yes. In the national well, security. On the other hand, no. Justified the policy right. approval. And hopefully we don't have to joke to say it was never done. Was never implemented. No, that part of the program is not. Well, I don't know. I think we ought to think, give some thought to wrapping the psychiatrist's name into this and justifying it. We got a major leap there. We got to threaten the national security. It's easy to wrap it in there, Mr. President, and hang it on this hat in the whole case than to have it been acceptable. I think we may want to think about it. Whether we don't put this one under the umbrella, we'll, we'll have to take a look. But it may be that it would be better to put that one under the umbrella. Well, then you admit that we have to prove well. Let's see if there were any other ones before we Let's see if there are any other And I say it's one to consider. Yeah. Uh, but we have to look at it. I, I know the psychiatrist thing was frankly part of this deal. No, but it was apparently, Crook was apparently connected with the, with, the White with this type of deal. And with the White House, we've got your letter time to it. That it could have been precisely, you know, your letter to Mr. Hooper telling him to on this yes. was pro and form. You know. Yes, gentlemen. And, and it appears that you were referring to a group you established here to monitor this type of situation a year after this policy went into effect. Well, 
That was a year after this paper was approved. Now, I think there's one other thing we must watch, and I think we're going to have to put out some tea to find out about. We remember how the Ellsworth paper was played. The New York Times took these things. They spent weeks and a bucket shop putting together their serialized story. From the tipplers, we've had to the press. We have to be very careful to keep an eye on it, to make sure that we're ready to, to move right on if that thing goes. But I think we ought to kind of get the feel to see if they're going to play this kind of game. That would work to create quite some publicity. So we should keep an eye out to see if that sort of thing is being done now in the media. Because, you know, they can pretend to hold the document and work up their stuff in advance as a typical congressional committee report, you know, work out with the media of their yeah. time scale, their plan, yeah, their I mean, plan of operations and all that. You could, uh, we could, uh, we could assume that possibly uh, uh, a copy of the documents uh, you deem might have been available at the time. So, well, Steve's pretty well covered now. See, he's got them to three places. He's got a U.S. Attorney's office. He's got them on the hill. Um, at least he's got them back into the bureaucracy. This gives him some cover for leaving. You know, yeah. he, he couldn't do it very well. Well, well, of course, well my point is, my point is, Fred, though, I don't believe that we, I don't believe that in the, uh, uh, your point is, we don't want to get caught by surprise, is what I'm saying. I agree. We want to be prepared and we want to keep our eyes and ears open to see if we can get some feel for how the thing is being played and how they're going to play it. And how they're going to play it. I think we need to get the feel for that. Interesting thing, though, that that whole paper was approved by all those clowns. Uh, they, they said, who were demurred on one? Who were demurred on two items? Yeah. See, on the breaking, breaking and adoring and the increased tax. Those were the two that were would be done by him. He said he didn't care if the other agencies did any of them. Oh, but he said not by the Bureau. Not by the Bureau. Well, the other agencies are great in The other CIA industry? Yes, sir. Perfect at all. I'm going to make an issue out of a 
plans we have to avoid domestic insurrection. I don't know. I, uh, I think right. that we just fight it. I mean, we just have to fight it. Let me say, you know, I've been through all this yeah. with some Derby on this precise point. Yeah. And this was the 68 riot. Yeah. And my job was to try to get him to understand the environment that existed when Washington was being burned down. The use of military people for intelligence collection at that point. Yeah. He, was, he, he and his entire committee were totally in right. you know, So, so why they, they, play the, they play the civil liberties you
students were being killed in school. And I'm not, I don't want you to reassure me on something you don't believe, but my own view is, I still say, looking at these papers everywhere, Scott, damn it, these, this, what that is, is a plan for the purpose of domestic security. Domestic security involving, and there were foreign operations, foreign support of these damn things, right? And all of the agencies of the government were to be coordinated and abroad and at home. Did they get an original study that was a total fake? Yeah. They did. Yeah, and that's what the Hoover was told to do that. Just was there nothing? Nothing studied. Then, I think it was, I think he was doing in those lines, but took it over to get, to get some time in action. We weren't flying down. Uh, weather and all these people at work uh, tearing up the goddamn city. You know, it, it, memories are short, Mr. President. Oh, God damn. Uh, this was one hell of a place to be along about May of 1970. This was something in action, plan. Basically, a contingency plan. And we had a situation in which there were students killed uh, at a school. The city of Washington was torn, uh, torn up. There were, you know, God. Uh, Maybe Buzzard is right that this, is the, uh, this will be the thing that they'll try to say this is ground for impeachment of the president. Well, but you know, <laughs> Extremely sensitive to sensitivities. I think he's a little, if anything, oversensitive. Oh, yes. I think. I think. No, but let's not take a hard look at that. Because if you're, 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 not, you're not coming around to the resignation, the American army. Good. Many respects. You're the king of the world. You can use the face of that battle. You're the responsible charges on that. The one thing that we have to be careful of is that they can't say, not only did they set up the apparatus, they did the bird that they're in the region. That's you. That's what these factors are trying to do. They can't have on you. Oh, you mean that, that basically the water being buggers were set up under this apparatus? That some of that, that's a, that is what happened. I know God damn well it did. We have got to be sure that we separate them. Separate them. And you cut that off. That there can be no leaves. There can be well, that is one of the reasons why the Walters conversation, Walters Helms conversation, was terribly important. To be sure that the CIA was not involved in this thing. See my point? That's the point I was making. You see, poor Bob is really quite disturbed about talking to him now. It's an old thing, God came right, right where it hurt. Yeah. His family doesn't believe him now. And in fairness to the guy, you see it, that strange looking between the two and in the, the psychological sense of, uh, hell, of course they'd check and see whether the CIA was involved in more than any goddamn army. Listen, that would just be taking that line on. I mean, I know it must be discouraged, but basically, he just, his line, because his, 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 I told him to check the goddamn thing to see if the CIA was, in, you know, to check to see whether the CIA, there were CIA people. That's the line that you take. He says, he says his family doesn't believe in line. Well, you know, you see, he, so, incidentally, he also said this, he wanted you to know that his lawyers have been working with they uh, have reported that the guard is the best they work with. Good. Anyway, Good. and he has full confidence in the guard. Good. Uh, you know, the thing, the trouble with the goddamn. Wait, I'm about the price. Yeah, and the Ray Wars put it, and I'm sure it was innocent. I mean, he had no. He's trying to help you. I know. But what he did tell me is he wasn't explicit enough about. Bob said there were four points covered at that meeting. A was what they picked for them. Was there going to be involvement here? Hunter, the whole CIA guy, 
B, was it in any way tied into the Internal Security Committee operation that, that was going on, which would have been, you know, could have uncovered a hell of a mess for the security of the country, not because anything was wrong on the track. Uh, but you see, the way Andrews portrayed that to the committee and in his affidavit was that the only purpose for that meeting was to go over and tell Gray to cool it. That's what that's what Brian was saying. Now that that he'll manage when he has to talk about it. Those probably I think he'll be recalled before the grand jury can explain that to him. See, he got away with it very lightly the first time around and explained it accurately, but they didn't they didn't probe. Now they know it was a now they'll probably put take a call back and be sure that Corey John was telling that he could convey it to John as I got it. I understand it totally, but they just, and we're going to back them to the hills on this damn thing. Back them to the hills. I mean, hell, I know what the hell the score was there. I, of course they went there. They told the grand jury that, too, as far as that. Yeah, they did. But I don't know. And, and they should. They were acting on the CIA. Right. Wow. To see if there was any CIA. That's, That's right. right. But so the Walmart's made it look like they were perjured themselves. Because he said, not to see if there was any, but to ensure that the FBI thought that there was. Yeah, well, that may be Walter's interpretation. We were going to, we'll get this one now. I hope I'm going to say, you know, 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 now this thing may be, if they make a mistake on this issue, maybe the issue that will sweep the whole goddamn thing out. The whole two country. Well, just, it'll stir up the press again, and that's all about all their terrible concern about civil liberties and all the rest. On the other hand, the country is, I mean, it may require it sometime. I don't rule out it. It may require my going on and explain what the hell we were doing. I mean, why we did it. But, but I'll tell you, Alan, you're not going to be afraid to stir this one. This is a monster that they will not go to stir. Why? Why not? Because I think every civil libertarian knows that the mass majority of the people in this country do not tolerate this machine. That is what the election is all about. With your heart hands and your goddamn American people who are sick and tired of this soft You see, the, the way you find it, of course, is the fact that we talk about the use of illegal entries and so forth in there. But the term is a very sense, he said. You're not the other one. In a very esoteric sense. And I'm sure when we start discussing it, we're going to find it. who are even capable of doing it. And just what basically in my case, I have stuck with the, uh, and I have to be stuck with telling uh, the crow to talk to Hoover, you know, to, which I did, and uh, ordering Bob and John to go in and talk to the to, uh, to Waller's accountants, which I did, and approving this plan, which I did without it, I must say, without looking, checking it on my item, I checked it to see whatever. Burglary and all that. God, the hell, we didn't even think of such things. Every, every man in government responsible for this area, the Interdepartmental Committee, unanimously, except for two recommendations, in which was only one that said it was. And all the. Well, he said it was. But the dissenting vote was, curiously enough, he two were dissenting on two things for the Bureau, but not for the others.
would be in a totally negative defensive position. If they believe it that way and it turns out that way, I think we just sweep the bastards from the country. 